I want to show you something exclusive. And the Oscar goes to... Senor, let's see. Exclusive, exclusive is not. You know why? Because you showed us a book a few weeks back and you call those people animals. I mean, <laughs> they are reading quite a lot hmm, to be animals. Uh, one question though. If I want to vomit, I have to eat something first. One second. So this is Adolf Hitler's book. Oh, you think we're surprised you have that book? Nah, amigo. What Zionists are doing to Palestinians is the same thing that the person on the cover of your book did to Jews. And stop trying to confuse people that Jews and Zionists is the same thing because it's not. It's not gonna work the victim card anymore. Anyway, let's continue to bingo. It's the book that led to the Holocaust. Ah, so that's why I feel like a dragon, because I read Game of Thrones. Dracaris! No, sir, it was not because of a book. Because a person, a trusted person, official person, said a lie over and over and over again until it became the truth of its people. Are you an official person? Or do you want to turn yourself into Pinocchio? Which led to the worst atrocity of humankind. And the world said never again. So what do you think we see? What are you doing in Gaza? And imagine 50 years from now, the history books, thinking about the genocide of 2023 in Gaza. And kids asking why nobody did anything. Because we had to listen to science fiction stories from people like you, sir. Well, this book was found just a few days ago in northern Gaza in a, in a children's living room. So they still have living rooms in Gaza. Hmm. You went there to see, by chance? I don't think so. Well, that book looks really clean, you know, like your skin. I wanted to ask you, what kind of ethnic cleanser are you using? Yeah, good pH negative or positive? Like, yeah, just a question. Turned into a military operation base of Hamas. Sure, and I'm Michael Jackson baking cupcakes. The, on the body of one of the uh, terrorists. Oh, so you're capable to do special ops, special operations. Wow, and you can see the bodies and find the books and you still choose to bomb all the civilians? Hmm. Wink, wink. Us, and he even marked, he wrote notes. But I thought they were barbarians and animals and now you fight with philosophers. I mean, it makes sense for a soldier to go to war and put the book here. Ha! Let me see what Hitler did. Oh, oh, they don't need that. They not, don't need that example of a book. <laughs> they have you. Duh. Of hating the Jews, of killing the Jews, of burning the Jews, of slaughtering the Jews. Senor, sir, that doesn't sound familiar to you. Killing, hating, slaughtering. I mean, the entire world sees it in Gaza. Don't you? I mean, don't you? It was like never again, but never again for the entire world, right? Slaughtering the Jews. This is the real. Even the reporter, she cannot believe how you're trying to manipulate the situation. I mean, she's from CNN. I mean, they have a very high tolerance for Pinocchio stories. So all those who demonstrated yesterday, I'm not saying that all of them support Hitler. Sure, the millions of people demonstrating for Palestine, we are all supporting Hitler. Wow, that's new. Even the hundreds of thousands of Jews who are saying not in my name, really? You don't want to imply that. No, you just want to imply the ideology from the book that you're holding. It's exactly what you're doing. That kind of manipulation, I, I can tell you read the book. Quarzo to quarzo. Senor, no need to be upset with me or kill me or whatsoever, but at this point the propaganda of the Zionist is like trying to convince us that you slept with the entire football team and you're still a virgin. You know, we realize the world is changing when the comedy is taken seriously and the politics are a joke. The prize for you, sir.